and what kind of a world are we creating for ourselves? I mean, did you guys hear this over the weekend? TPD was ambushed. This blew my mind. TPD was ambushed early, early uh, Saturday morning. Basically, a call came in about 1 a.m. that there were shots fired and there was a victim of a shooting. And it was uh, at North 15th Street and East 26th Avenue in Tampa near Ybor City. And basically, the police officers responded to this call. When they arrived, a crowd surrounded them in the middle of that intersection. All where four they, corners. Yeah, you heard about this, Pat George. Sure. And they surrounded them. They started jumping on the car. They started throwing bottles at them. In fact, one police officer got hit in the head by a bottle. Yeah, the media is not covering this. You, you Go look online. You, this was barely covered over the weekend. There was no shooting. There was no shooting victim. They called the police out for purposes of ambushing them with a mob. So that's the violent struggle. That's where we're going in this country. Is that the kind of country you want to live in? Do you want to live in a country where a mob attacks and tries to kill police officers? I know I don't. I mean, sure, there are reforms that need to happen, but that's not the way to go about it, and that's not going to lead us to anywhere good. So we need to think about the results of this kind of language that's used and what's going to happen to us ultimately when we destroy the police, when we when we make it almost impossible for anybody to be a law enforcement officer. I mean, let's face it, who would want to? You don't make that much money. Now, everybody seems to hate you. People are trying to kill you. You go to a Wendy's or, or let's say a Shake Shack. You know, you get a you get a shake and the people behind the counter are putting chlorine in it. Bleach. They're trying to poison you. You know, and this happens. You can see these stories all the time. People spit in their food. They do these things. So why would you want to be a cop? I mean, let's be honest. There's got to be easier ways to make money, less stressful ways to make money, less threatening ways. You know, you're not going to have your life in danger. You know, you don't make that much money as a cop. And who's going to want to do it? And that's part of the plan as well. So what's going to happen to our country when we don't have any law enforcement? Who's going to protect you at your house from home invaders? That's why gun sales are so uh, gone off the charts right now, along with ammunition. That's right, but that's not going to be a good development. That is not a, the answer at all. <laughs> when we start having to take, yes. when we start having to take violence into our own hands to protect ourselves, things are really going to go off the rails quickly. People are, it's it's a bad situation, and that's why we need to maintain the rule of law in this country. We need to continue to follow through with the important reforms that have been going on for decades. To policing to make it more fair. We need to recognize and be empathetic that, yes, in our past, the laws have been racist, they have been discriminatory, and we've got to fix that now. But we also need to recognize that we have been fixing that. We're on the right path. We're on the right path. These things are almost disappearing from our society. And, you know, I don't run into racists. I, I, I don't even know where they are. I guess they claim they're all out somewhere out in the Northwest or something. I mean, in these enclaves. But I don't see him around anymore. So, I, you know, I know it's still a problem that somewhat persists, but we're making progress and we're on the right track. And we don't need to now, right here at the end, when we're just about to finish this progress, we don't need to now switch it over to a communist revolution and destroy our entire system of civil interaction, law enforcement and government. And that's what the BLM movement wants to do. And that's what you should be concerned about. We'll come back. On the Morgan Streetman Show. Thank you for listening to the Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard, and if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.